being held on Tuesday, February 15th, 2022. All members of council are present and the media has been duly notified. At this time, everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and then remain standing for a moment of silence. joke. Jeez, lighten up, guys. Okay. Our first item on the agenda is a joint public hearing with the Planning Commission. I'll turn things over to Vice Chairman Matt DeWitt. Thank you, Mayor, members of Council. Um, I'd like to call to order this special Planning Commission meeting for the City of Tiga K. Uh, let the record show that we do have a quorum with five members present. Uh, with Chris Leonard and Jason Pitcott absent. Um, first order of business is a proposed amendment to the Zoning Code Ordinance 77 to add Article 15, Section 19507 Community Meeting Requirements. Uh, from that, we'll turn it over to Shane to give us a synopsis of that. So the planning, the planning Commission began a work in October of 2021 on a potential amendment to the zoning code due to public input received during the update to the comprehensive plan. At the regular meeting in, on January 10th, 2022, the Commission moved to send the proposed amendment onto public hearing and first read by Council. This amendment will require developers slash builders to do, notice and conduct community meetings for request to create or amend planned development districts, mixed use districts, planned unit developments, and a rezoning to a major subdivision or rezoning over two acres of residential property to any other district. In addition, the mayor or the chair of the planning commission can also direct an applicant to conduct a community meeting for a request involving a potential impact, impactful land use in terms of compatibility with surrounding uses, traffics, aesthetics, or any other area of concern. The fiscal impact of this study would be nothing. Thank you, Shane. Uh, with that, we will open up for public comment. If we have any. Yes. Okay. With that, we will close the public hearing, and the Planning Commission um, will uh, enter a special meeting across the hall. Okay, the next item on the agenda is public comments. We have one tonight, uh, Steve Stacklehouse. Please state your name and address for the record, please, sir. Yes, hello, Council. Uh, Mayor Steve Stacklehouse, 259 Shoreline Parkway, uh, property owner there. Um, I have a resolution I'd like to present to the board tonight for your consideration. Um, if you'd like, I can read it into the record. Please. Uh, it's titled a resolution on improving Tiga K City Police Department public relations. Number one, whereas the Tiga K Police Department TCPD is an integral part of our community, providing services 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Number two, whereas it is the mission of the TCPD to quote, safeguard the lives and property of the people they serve, end quote, whereas the TCPD officers Sergeants, lieutenants, and chief have taken a sworn oath to serve and protect our community, whereas the community desires to remind everyone of that sworn oath, whereas the TCPD does not currently have an official motto, whereas the motto to serve and protect, in quotes, is well known throughout police organizations around the United States of America. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the TKK Police Department, TCPD, 
shall adopt the motto to serve and protect as the official TCPD motto. Shall add the statement to serve and protect to each police department vehicle that is used in public. Shall use paint or vinyl stickers in white. Shall be at least three inches in height. Shall be located on at least two sides of each vehicle. And three, shall be added to official communications including, but not limited to, letterhead, social media, and business cards. Respectfully submitted by myself. I have a copy here for each of you if you'd like it. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Stackelhouse. Next is the approval of the minutes from January 18th regular meeting. Does council have any additions, deletions, or corrections? Hearing none, the minutes stand approved as submitted. Next on the agenda is item four, committee reports, and we will start with the Economic Development Commission. Mr. Machunas. All right, <clears throat> excuse me, the EDC met on January 24th. There was a quorum with five in attendance. Uh, one thing that quickly popped up for anybody out there to thinking about it, especially a lot of you that attend, uh, there are going to be five seats available April 1st. Um, so <clears throat> you can go to the city's website to apply. Um, then it will be voted on by council, but we have five seats. This is for the Economic Development Commission. I uh, would love to have you serve. Um, we discussed the success of the Donnie Shell tournament that was held. Um, pretty impressed that it, he said it was his best ever um, that he'd had, and marketing was very limited. So um, when they come back uh, this year with the, the marketing we have and the staff we have in place to help push that out, um, looking forward to a very successful event for him. Um, we discussed retail strategies. It's a company that's been hired to help recruit commercial development in the air and businesses coming. Um, they're going to pilot a program here that they've not done before, focusing on regional retail. Um, their focus has always been on national retail uh, chains and things that we're really not looking to attract here. Um, City is coming up with a uh, branding plan for retail areas in Windhaven and also the county land along Hubert Graham. Um, <clears throat> the property formerly known as Game On, now known as Game Off, Graceland, everything else uh, is in process right now, hopefully with a new developer purchasing that property. Um, also brought up the topic of structuring incentives for new and expanding businesses in TKK um, based on points, how to word it, that kind of thing. And then there was also uh, later a, uh, a WebEx done uh, that talked about various um, incentives that could possibly be placed uh, or given to us by, uh, by the state and various organizations. And that was it. Thanks, Gus. And now the Planning Commission report tonight will be from the City Manager. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, Members of Council. Uh, Ms. Britt is unfortunately ill and not able to attend, so I'll be doing the report for her this evening. The Planning Commission held a workshop design uh, charrette to review and edit the mixed-use PDD on the uh, former, uh, formerly known as Game On site. Um, the Commission listened to several design consultants and developers present who presented the initial conceptual designs and uh, furthered into initial discussions about the potential amendments. Uh, additional items discussed by the commission included uh, updates to the 2018 PDD design uh, checklist and public hearing process to be considered at the next regular meeting, conditional approval of the River Falls development preliminary plat, pending approval of three noted corrections by our utility department, um, Potential ordinance amendment allowing uh, auxiliary dwelling units 
was not discussed at the February regular meeting and is on the agenda for March. Uh, review of um, members with expiring terms and uh, completed continuing education training um, jointly with Fort Mill discussing economic development strategies uh, on February 10th. And that was the, uh, the report that I got from her. Thank you, Charlie. Next on the agenda is new business. Uh, So I uh, need a motion to approve bid award Stonecrest Trail Design slash Engineering RFP to Seaman Whiteside in the amount not to exceed more than $47,000 and authorize the city manager to issue the notice to proceed. Uh, during the budget process, council approved funding to design and build a connected trail from the existing trail system to Stonecrest Boulevard. Staff put the project out for bid in accordance with the purchasing ordinance. Upon receiving bids for the project, staff was directed to rebid the project for the design engineering services. Seaman Whiteside, located in Greenville, South Carolina, was the lowest qualifying bid and response, responsive bidder. Mr. Mayor and members of council, I'd like to make a motion to approve a bid award Stonecrest Trail Design Engineering RFP to Seaman Whiteside in an amount not to exceed $47,000 and authorize the city manager to issue, issue the notice to proceed. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. The next item on the agenda is the Planning Commission recommendation on the public hearing item. Vice Chairman DeWitt, if you'll come to the podium, please. Mayor, members of council, uh, the Planning Commission met and unanimously recommends approval of the ordinance amendment as written. Thank you. Any questions for us? Okay. The next item on the agenda is the city manager's report. Mr. Funderburg. 5C first. Got to do 5C. 5C. First read. Executive summary. Okay. Okay. Uh, as discussed during the public hearing, this amendment will require developers, per builders, to notice and conduct community meetings for, rec <clears throat> for request to create or amend planned development districts, mixed use districts, planned unit developments, and a rezoning to a major subdivision or rezoning over two acres of residential property to any other district. Mr. Mayor, members of council, motion to approve a first reading of an amendment to the zoning code to add article 15, section 19-507. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. Okay, now we got <coughs> Okay. Next item on the agenda is the city manager's report. Mr. Funderburg. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of council. Uh, just a few brief things this evening. Uh, the Service Saturdays uh, initiative that we announced uh, last, uh, last meeting, uh, we've had a great response for volunteers, uh, but we've only had one nomination uh, as far as projects go thus far. Uh, with as many volunteers plus staff um, that wants to participate, we'd like to get a few more projects uh, nominated uh, over the next month if possible. So 
uh, folks that are playing along at home tonight or watching this later on our uh, YouTube channel. If you know folks, send them to us. I know Katie is reaching out to a few uh, organizations uh, in the area to see if they have some contacts with some folks uh, like York County um, uh, Council on Aging and things like that. But if you know somebody uh, that's in need, um, go on the website, fill that form out, get, us to, get it to us, because I think we've got about 35 to 40 volunteers that have already signed up, uh, which has been great. We've probably got another, I'm going to say 15 to 20 staff members. So, uh, and apparently we now have an entire Girl Scout troop uh, that wants to get involved. So um, you know, definitely need some projects to do. Uh, we don't want to turn volunteers away, folks that are wanting to help. So if you know some folks, uh, please get those nominations to us. Uh, big thank you to department heads and city council for their time and effort this past Saturday with the workshop. Hopefully council found it beneficial. Um, I'll be meeting with department heads tomorrow morning and we'll begin sorting out and categorizing lists from councils so that we can get it back to you as soon as possible, um, as was directed. Um, youth sports, our final registration numbers. Um, council, I know y'all heard, heard this on Saturday, but 2,075 kids signed up. We don't have any more facilities right now than what we did 15 years ago when those numbers were half as much. So, um, you know, kudos to our Parks and Rec staff for finding a way to get as many kids involved and get them on teams and uh, find the teams a place to be, uh, along with our, our growing adult sports. Um, unfortunately, we still got 100 on the waiting list uh, that we weren't able to serve, but hey, come fall, Catawba Park opens and it fixes that problem. So we're, we're excited that, that that project is still on schedule and, and moving forward. Um, and then uh, last thing I've got, just as a reminder, uh, city offices will be closed on Monday, uh, this coming Monday for President's Day. And that concludes my report, Mayor. Council, are there any questions for the city manager? Were you going to ask him to address Mayor, the one issue? I forgot the, uh, the, the update on the deer study there. Uh, yes, my sir. apologies on that. Um, so as I communicated with, uh, with council via email earlier, um, earlier this week and last week, um, DNR has kind of given us some resistance um, about coming up. Uh, initially, they were going to come up in the fall, and then it got pushed to February. Um, I think they've also had some COVID issues in their staff, but looks like based on the last communication from Dr. Ruth, uh, the Region 3 folks should be here. Then the next two to three weeks is what it's looking like. They, they said early March. Uh, we'll get that going. Uh, I'm really hoping we can get that done so that we can then turn to the very um, long conversation probably that – uh, will have to happen after that um, and figure out what, what next steps are going to be at that point in time. But I uh, did want to let you know that we're still plugging away at it. Tim's still trying to find a few um, uh, contractors that, that perform the same service. DNR is free, but just in case DNR punts on us again um, so we can have somebody in the queue uh, so that we can get this done. I know a lot of residents have been reaching out to y'all. They've been reaching out to us. Um, yeah, we need to see where we stand so then council can make as an informed decision as possible. So we are working on it. And now I'm finished. <laughs> Thank you, Chair. <Jordan. clears throat> Item 8, council comments, and we will start with Mr. Ryan Rashard. Um, I'm quick and easy as usual, guys. Thanks, staff, for coming out on Saturday. I think that was a very productive meeting. Um, great presentations from all your department heads, Charlie. Um, very intuitive and looking forward to the future. Thanks, thank you guys with all the fresh ideas that you brought. Um, it was definitely a breath of fresh air to, to see some of the contributions that you guys put forward. As usual, our first responders, Chief, Chief, both you guys back there, um, fire as well as TCPD, EMS, we appreciate all you guys do. Um, keep up the good work and Steve, thanks for coming out and we always love hearing suggestions from the citizens, so I think this is great personally. Um, and for all you guys that came out, it seems like this is a good meeting to come out to based on the time. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Richard. Gus? I want to echo every single thing that Ryan just said, <clears throat> so I agree. Um, the benefits of going first. Every last bit of it. <laughs> it is good to go first, and it sucks to go last, Chris. Um, <clears throat> Charlie, uh, DNR, was that... Dr. Ruth, is she still alive? I can promise you we're not using that Dr. Ruth okay. about the procreation of deer I'm in Tiki Just County. curious. I was just curious. <laughs> you said the name. I just wondered. And I'm also wondering how many, how many people out there got that pop culture reference. Um, other than that, uh, I would like to say <laughs> it's one in every group, right? 
Um, if I'm remembering correct, we uh, I, I, for those of you who are out here and anybody who happens to be watching, if you're out here, you got to be interested in things that go on in the city. Um, all of our committees have got openings that will be coming up shortly. Go to the website and apply. Every single committee has uh, openings. It, it's one meeting a month for an hour and occasionally some phone conversations in between. Uh, the nominations are, are, you can go ahead and put yourself in there. And then we vote on them at the April council meeting. Is that right? March meeting. <clears throat> That's next month. So if you're going to apply, apply. It's a great way to give back to your city. It's a great way to get your feet wet if you want to do this one day. Yeah, if one of you guys want to replace Gus or I. Yeah, that's right, because there's going to be two openings in less than two years. Uh, so, Please other do. than that, <laughs> I'll get off my soapbox. <laughs> Please volunteer. Thank you, Gus. I'm next. Mr. Shirley. Yes, uh, thanks for everyone in attendance. And, uh, of course, it uh, sounds redundant, but I want to tell our uh, law enforcement first responders how much we appreciate what you guys do. Uh, very, very grateful for the safe city that we live in, and you, you are a major contributor to that, and we thank you for that. Um, just a uh, maybe a quick question for a next meeting, or maybe if there's a quick answer. Do we know if we have an update on the student liaison process that uh, we pushed forward last month? We have it advertised. I uh, do not have a headcount as far as any applications that have come in yet. Come in. So we've gotten over 10 that have come in, so that's fantastic. <laughs> that's awesome. That's so great. Good. Excellent. Um, glad to hear so, that. yeah, we, we had envisioned bringing those your way, <clears throat> provided that we had enough. It sounds like we do. Uh, so y'all see those at your March, uh, at your March meeting along with the other uh, committee appointments that you'll be considering. Excited to hear that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for the progress on the um, uh, DEER study as well. It's uh, Dr. Charles Ruth, just so we're clear. And... Um, <laughs> Uh, maybe he could wait until June after all the uh, fawns are born, and we'll have a more accurate count. But uh, sooner the better. Just kidding. Um, the committee positions, as has been mentioned earlier, so I just want to warn everybody, you don't have to campaign for it. You don't have to take a beating on social media for it or anything like that. It can be a fun position that can really greatly contribute to our city. I'm very grateful for the Planning Commission and the work that you folks do uh, to bring to council. Uh, please keep up the good work, and uh, please spread the word among your friends that there are positions that are open. Um, <clears throat> also, regarding uh, Steve uh, Stacklehouse and your public comment, thank you for that, and I want you to know that um, in our workshop on Saturday, um, Chief Joey shared a great bit of information with us on the culture that he's expecting from the force, and uh, that's consistent with what uh, what your vision is and what you shared with us, and I can tell you that he's doing a great job of making strides within the department, so thank you for that. Thanks, Scott. Next is Tom Heisler. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, quickly reiterate, reiterate what everyone else has said, uh, Charlie, staff, department heads, chiefs, thank you for Saturday. That was uh, uh, enlightening, uh, learned a lot, and... Um, uh, look forward to uh, your feedback for for all our uh, crazy ideas. Um, to the Parks and Rec, that's that's amazing what you're doing. Uh, over 2,000 uh, kids uh, getting to play. Thank you for juggling that schedule. I know I know you more than anyone are looking forward to Catawba Park, so <laughs> that'll be a big win. Uh, Planning Commission, thank you for your work tonight and, and every month. We appreciate it. And uh, as always, uh, police and fire, all first responders. Thanks for everything you do. And that's it. Thank you, Tom. Uh, I'd like to say, God, my first responders, thank you very much for what you do. Uh, I know that it's been a trying week, and we appreciate all your patience and, and diligence in what you're doing. Uh, Park and Rex, Dustin, great job. Uh, the reason that we have so many children who want to play here is because of the, the work that you folks do. Uh, and I have seen it firsthand, and trust me, folks, it is nothing short of miraculous. Um, Stackle House, I appreciate you folks coming out tonight. Uh, thank you for your, your recommendation. Uh, I think that it's, it's right in line with, with what we need to be doing in TGK. Uh, Except only for only that Kramer guy. You could have left him home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not only, not only uh, with our police force and, and our fire department, uh, but I think we all in TGK need to protect and serve each other. Uh, it could be a motto that everyone can, can get behind and everybody could, could really support. Um, throughout the city. Um, Planning Commission, thank you for all your work that you're doing for us. 
uh, it is absolutely fantastic, and we appreciate every ounce of time that you spend in doing so. Uh, Charlie, I want to thank you and, and the rest of the staff for Saturday. Uh, it was a uh, tremendous bit of information that we were presented. Uh, I'm, I know I'm not the only one that felt like I was drinking from a fire hose, but um, uh, it was a, a lot of information. I appreciate everybody getting that together for us. Uh, it helps a lot to, to, for us to have that kind of information. I am still going through all of it, uh, and we'll get all of my stuff over to everybody just as quick as I can. Uh, so in that, I'd like to thank everybody for attending tonight. I uh, appreciate your time. Uh, next on the agenda is an executive session to discuss contractual matters pertaining to the food and beverage license agreement with the Shore Club and discussion of contractual matters with York County related to the boarding and lodging of prisoners at the Moss Justice Center and recreation funding. I will entertain a motion. Motion to enter executive session. So I second. Have a second. <laughs> Tom's not okay. going to. Having a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 <clears throat> it's unanimous. We are in executive session. Council, we are, council is back in open session. While in executive session, only the matters on the agenda were discussed and no votes were taken other than to return to open session. I'd like to make a motion that we table uh, the IGA agreement until a later date. Do I have are you a motion? Any motion? No motion. Second. Any second? All in favor say aye. 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 The uh, tabling the issue is, is unanimous. Uh, next item on the agenda is uh, to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 I beat him. All right. That was me. We are adjourned.